I'm Mike Euler with Marvell's CXL product development team. Today, I'll be discussing CXL memory pooling and chart running in a demo configuration. Marvell is the first company with a unified architecture for CXL pooling and expansion. The left picture is an example of memory expansion in which a single host accesses memory provided by the memory device. The right picture is an example of memory pooling in which four hosts are fully connected to four memory devices. Fabric Manager Agent provides configuration and control to memory devices. Marvell supports memory pooling with CXL 1.1 hosts today with support for future CXL hosts. Today's demo is a subset of the full pooling example with two CXL 1.1 hosts cross-connected to two memory devices. The external Fabric Manager Agent establishes the memory configuration seen by each host as we'll see in the demo. The demo hardware shown here consists of two Intel Archer City hosts attached to a memory appliance with two memory devices active in the appliance. Let's go to a dashboard that is connected to both memory devices and hosts. It provides the control and configuration of the memory devices in the demo. The dashboard shows the configuration of both devices and hosts, which we can see by clicking on the elements. Memory device zero, or MD0, is providing six gigabytes of memory to host zero and four gigabytes of memory to host one with six gigabytes unallocated. MD1 is providing four gigabytes of memory to host zero and eight gigabytes of memory to host one with four gigabytes unallocated. Host zero's configuration is confirmed by the host view. It sees a total of 10 gigabytes of memory from the two devices. The screen shows tests running on both hosts, host zero on the left and host one on the right. We're using standard test tools that access all the CXL memory from both memory devices, putting them under stress and checking for errors. Say that host zero requires more memory. Memory is available from the two memory devices and can be allocated to the host but these are CXL 1.1 hosts, which must be shut down during the memory reconfiguration. So I'm gonna stop the test running on host zero and shut down the host. Now that the host is shut down, I'll use the dashboard to allocate more memory from each device to host zero. As you can see, host zero now has 12 gigabytes allocated from MD0 and eight gigabytes allocated from MD1. Now we can reboot the host to allow these changes to take effect. Host zero is back up and I can restart the stress test for that host. Note that the host one stress test continued to test memory on both devices, even during the memory reconfiguration and reboot of host zero. With the host back up, we can confirm that it has been allocated the additional memory with the host view. Note that it has 12 gigabytes of memory from, from MD0 and eight gigabytes of memory from MD1. In this presentation, we showed the industry's first device with a unified architecture for both pooling and expansion. Pooling is supported with CXL 1.1 hosts today, as well as future hosts. Individual hosts, can have memory added or removed without affecting the operation of the other hosts. Memory pooling enables a new era of memory composability in the disaggregated data center. Thank you. Mm -hmm.